Hello and welcome to another one of my Blender tutorials. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create fake water in Blender. So let's get started. I've got this fairly simple scene set up. Um, I have two planes with solidify modifiers and I've got a subsurf modifier on this one. It's fractalized. You just got a torus and a monkey head. But what we're going to do is we're going to turn this into water that like refracts and everything. So let's go ahead and turn on ambient occlusion and render it and see how it looks. Okay, it doesn't look like anything. So let's just try how a lot of people would make still water. I'd hit and I'd make a material calls water and then they'd go to transparency they just go to ray trace, and they turn up the IOR, turn down the alpha. Let's see how this turns out. This looks okay, assuming your water is completely still. Most like your water is not going to be like that. It's going to have like little ripples and everything everywhere. So what you go ahead and do, just leave it how it is. And turn the alpha back up. And check transparency. And you're going to want to go ahead and... And just specularity really high and the hardness quite high and we're going to be creating this effect using normal maps. Let's go ahead and add a new texture. Leave this at clouds. Change the type to hard. Show both. And we're going to uncheck color. Check the normals and geometry. And lower it a little bit. So now what we're going to want to do, we go ahead and check this, see how it looks. That almost looks good actually, um, but we're going to want to add one more, and uncheck color, check the normal. reduce the size maybe turn up the depth a bit and turn down the normal some maybe even make this one negative there that looks better now we're going to make it look like water so we're going to go back to the normal materials tab, go recheck off transparency, and turn the alpha down to about like that. If we render it now, you'll see that we've got all this distortion going on here. So I'm going to escape out of that. Um, Another thing you can do is turn down this gloss. You can actually, you don't have to turn it down very much at all, actually. You can just turn it down to about 0.94. Render it again. And now everything will also be a little bit blurred. So everything will be like super clear. And now another thing that you can do is under here, you can change the color really dark and make the water a dark green color. And if you hit the filter and turn it up to probably 
about 0.2. It kind of tint everything green a little bit. And make it sort of like pond water if you're, that's what you're trying to go for. But that looks pretty good. what you want to do is in order to get reflections you can go ahead and check off mirror open that and turn the reflectivity up to about 0.2 actually make it about 0.15 Let's try rendering that. You get some kind of like little water glints there. And you get the reflection of the torus there. And if you're wondering how I made like this sandy looking texture, um, I just put a noise texture on here. Um, so that water looks pretty good. Another thing that you can do is to make it look even nicer is under your transparency tab. You, um, I mean not transparency, under the mirror tab. Change the depth to something more like 4. And actually you might want to turn down the make the reflections kind of blurry too for there but the more the gloss adds a lot onto your render time so you want to be aware of that but it this renders quite nicely it works really well for shaped water and you did this all without adding any polygons to your scene So, we've got that pretty much. Um, if you want to go back to your world tab and maybe change your samples up to 10, render it again, and you can just tweak around with everything and you get all sorts of different better results. So, I'll go ahead and fast forward through this render for you and show you what the end result looks like. Okay, so here is our finished render. Um, this is pretty much how everything looks when it's all done. And I hope yours turned out as good or better than mine. Um, please send a message if you have any suggestions. And leave a comment. Uh, subscribe, please. I don't have very many subscribers at the time this video is made. I probably would assume that I'd want some, so thanks, and make sure to come back for my next tutorial.